the standard Islamic narrative is wholesale wrong. The idea that the Sunnah, the traditions, the narrations that supposedly go back through a certain chain of Isnad all the way to Muhammad is demonstrably false. And there are multiple ways that we, in the last so many decades, have come to realize this. Let's start with the first one. This would be the discovery in 2015 of the Birmingham portfolio that was radiocarbon dated by Oxford University to be between the two date ranges, 568 AD and 645 AD. Between these two ranges, according to Oxford University, there's around a 90 and above percent chance that these portfolio manuscripts are within that date range. Now, immediately Muslim scholars rejoiced at such a thing because this happens to coincide with the life and time of Muhammad and his contemporaries. So it would seem that this is um, this is proving on their understanding that the Quran is the real word of God that really was revealed to Muhammad. But not so fast. There are multiple reasons why we would probably want to reject this understanding. Let's start off with the fact that the earliest range is 568 AD, which is two years before Muhammad was even born. So obviously, if it dates within those two years, Islam is immediately wrong. Now, no worries, Muslims would say, what are the odds of that, right? There are plenty of other years in that date range, 568 to 645, where it could date from. You know, those two two years at the beginning, two years at the beginning, it's not, not really an issue. Okay, fine. But Muhammad then supposedly did not become a prophet until 610. So that's another 40 year period in this time gap that this Birmingham portfolio cannot date from. Because if it does, that would mean that the standard Islamic narrative is wrong and Islam is inherently false. You can't have Muhammad revealing revelation before he's actually a prophet. And it gets even worse. If we look at the traditional Islamic understandings of when these three surahs, which the Birmingham portfolio contains, because it's not a full Quran, it's just parts of three surahs, surah 18, surah 19, and surah 20, the dating for those three surahs is around 6.15, maybe a little bit later, depending on who you ask. That would mean that there is another five years at the minimum in which this manuscript cannot predate. So we're now looking at around a 47 year period from 568 that these manuscripts can't come within. If they do, Islam is false and the standard Islamic narrative is false. What makes this even worse is the fact that this is very much likely not the original manuscript, it's rather a copy. And if it is a copy of the original, the original probably came a few years earlier. Again, making it even more likely that the dating for Surah 18, 19, and 20 comes in the earlier part of this dating range, i.e. before Muhammad had revealed it, before he was a prophet, or maybe even potentially before he was born. This is incredibly destructive to the Islamic belief that Muhammad revealed these verses. But it gets even worse. According to the Sunnah, where we get these very, very trustworthy narrations, Muhammad, once he had died in 632, the third caliph Uthman in 652, say maybe to around 656, had undergone his own Quranic recension. Namely, he collected the Quran from many different sources. He then established the order of the chapters. He then established what went into his Quran and what didn't go into his Quran. Like Abdullah ibn Masud, whose 111 surahs he rejected, and Ubay ibn Kaab, who's his own codex with 116 surahs, he also rejected. Instead, he established the Quran with 114 surahs, which is the Quran we have today. Thereabouts. This is problematic because the Birmingham portfolio is noticeably an Uthmanic type. It is a Uthmanic style of Quran. But the problem is that the, that dating that we mentioned before, the 568 to 645, well, that doesn't fit with Uthmanic supposed recension in 652 or to 656, which means that Islamic history got its own recension wrong. It would mean that the Sunnah of the Prophet is an error. And this comes from Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, this is all over the place. That would mean we would have to throw out the standard Islamic narrative almost wholesale. This would call into question not only what Uthman supposedly did, since he couldn't have actually done the recension, one of the major landmarks of his reign, but it also calls into question whether or not he was actually ruling at that time. And if you question that, then you also have to question the other caliphs and whether their timelines are correct. And ultimately, you have to challenge the idea of whether the timeline of Muhammad is correct. One final point to make is that Surah 18, 19, and 20, of which we have parts of in this Birmingham portfolio, happens to cover a substantial part of the Quran that borrows from other third-party material. So for example, in Surah 18, we read about the Cave of the Seven Sleepers, which is a 
folklore story of Christian tradition that came many hundreds of years prior to Muhammad, and again was well known by Christians as exactly that. It's a story, it's not meant to be a revelation. The story of Dhul Qarnayn, Alexander the Great, that somehow ended up in the Quran. Again, it comes from the Alexander Romance, which is a work of fiction. It's meant to elevate and overemphasize the great achievements that Muhammad did in his life, but it's not actual history. These and other stories that these surahs have, we know as a matter of fact predate this period anyway. So all you had to do is whoever wrote these surahs was just borrowing from other parts of other books, other works. It wouldn't surprise me if we actually found earlier dates for these, precisely because they're nothing more than just earlier stories. That being said though, the kind of the style of writing in the Birmingham portfolios themselves tends to give credence to the idea that the, carb the radiocarbon dating is wrong. The type of ink that is used in these manuscripts is in parts coloured ink, which is not what you would expect from a original, close to original anyway, copy especially if this is supposedly before Uthman came around and established the official Quran. It probably is, actually, a much later document. But radiocarbon dating has been jumped on by a single study by Oxford University to try to give credence to these ideas, even if it means destroying the standard Islamic narrative in the process. We can contrast this with the Christian history, which is based on a reasonable place with adequate vegetation and a long established history with archaeological findings galore, with historic significance, with actual characters that we can verify really did exist, and ultimately with a loving God who loved the world so much he sent his only son, that anyone who would believe in him would have eternal life. Come to Jesus Christ, reject false ideas, and start to look at actual objective truth as it was revealed much earlier than Muhammad. Come back to the real Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Have a great day.